Okay, so here I am with the uh, PC that I'm building on, which will have Myth TV installed on it eventually. And what I'm going to do first is to log in and there's the prompt. Um, apologies about the size of the font, I can't make it any bigger. Uh, it does start bigger but it gets reset with the, I presume it's the frame buffer resets the screen. Now the first thing, the LFS menu, which I can't show you on the screen, um, but I've got on another screen beside me, is it recommends running the following command as the root user to allow you to possibly exit if xorg ha uh, hangs to allow you to exit gracefully rather than having a, a lock up where the keyboard's not responding and it says that it's possible to use alt sys request and r to reset the keyboard and then it should be able to use control alt fx and fx is the vt number to switch to another virtual terminal so i'll run this in case it doesn't work it should do but just in case so it's sudo echo digit 4 greater than and then forward slash proc sys kernel sys rq permission denied Okay, that's interesting. So, has it got to be specifically root? Let's try this form of the command. Put root password in. Okay, that works. You can't do it with sudo. You have to be explicitly root. So now to test the XORG installation, issue start X. So that's looking promising. Yep, there it is. There's the uh, TWM window manager. And in case you don't know TWM, it is very basic. Um, you get focus by hovering over the window. So you can see the cursor's gone black there and that window's got focus. If I move this one over here, um, you'll see that one's got focus. It's just a case of moving the cursor over each window to decide which window gets the focus. This screen always seems to be too long for the screen. To, to resize the screen you have to click and hold this square here, move to one of the edges and then when it's picked up that edge then you can resize the window. Also another thing to to remember if you type control D on this terminal, this terminal here is the um, login terminal, or sorry, not terminal, this is the login X term session. That's the one that controls the whole session. So if you log out of that one, the whole lot disappears, the whole lot gets shut down. Whereas if you log out of these two, because they're, they've actually got the name X term, just those windows will disappear rather than the whole lot. So be careful with this one. Um, it might be worth doing something like bash to get another session. So if you do actually type control D by accident, it won't immediately shut down. Um, there's a few tests to do here. I'll see if I can type in the commands. So GLX info, it says to run. And yes, that's coming up with some output. This is, I believe, one of the commands we got from patching Mesa. There's all the abilities of the graphics card. And it says to look for name of display zero, which you can see at the top, colon zero. Display zero, screen zero, yep. With this colon in front of that zero. And direct rendering, yes, as well. So that's all good. That's all working fine. 
Um, it says if direct rendering is enabled, you can add verbosity by running libgl debug verbose glx info. So let's try that. So it says to run, put in lib gl underscore debug equals verbose space glx info. Uh, so let's scroll back again. This keyboard might be quicker. Using driver 9915 for 4. So it's looking for some configuration directories, it's not finding them, so it's not a problem. So it looks like it's loaded the driver, uh, Crocus driver, which I believe, I'm pretty sure in, in Mesa when you configure it, you can spe specify what driver, and I think the default is auto, and it just builds all the drivers. So if, if you want, you could specify Crocus um, if you're on Intel, or if you do find out what driver Mesa would be using, um, you could possibly build it slightly smaller. So that's that. Um, and it says to confirm that DRI2 hardware acceleration is working, run the command glx info and pipe that through grep minus capital E and quotes open bracket open gl space vendor and the pipe character open gl renderer pipe open gl space version close bracket and close quote That should be a quote there. Oh, it still doesn't. Press the right button. It's because the keyboard's defaulted to US. And there we go. So string Intel, the renderer is Mesa, HD graphics, and another version, Mesa version 22.3.5. Um, if there is no DRI2 driver available, use the software rasterizer for direct rendering. In such case, you can use a new LLVM accelerated software rasterizer called LLVM Pipe. And it shows that the software rasterizer, so if you're using the software driver, it would come up as Gallium on LLVM Pipe. Um, so obviously we're definitely using the... Um, accelerated version DRI2 hardware acceleration because we haven't got that so that's good um, there's stuff about debugging XORG so if you're having problems then you'll need to read further on in the page um, There's one thing here, maybe useful for the TWM environment. It probably won't be that useful in uh, Myth TV, but it's to create uh, a default mapping for the keyboard. And to do that is to edit etc. I'll have to type this all in, otherwise you could type, uh, copy and paste it. Otherwise, um, xorg.conf d xkb defaults defaults dot conf and I can actually make this font bigger in case it's a bit small. This is what this is the menu that appears with that enable toolbar that I mentioned. 
and then I'll leave in reverse video because that can make it a bit easier to read. Uh, right, that's a little bit bigger. See how that goes. So it says section. Oh, right, it's gone into insert anyway. Section quotes input class. Identifier quotes XKB defaults close quotes match is keyboard match is keyboard space quotes yes close yes close quotes I'm not sure why that isn't been identified with the colouring um, option quotes XKB layout close quotes open quotes now they've got a French example FR for France I'm going to put UK in for United Kingdom and then it's got another option. Not sure what this does, but I'll try it. XKB option options close quote open quote terminate control oh control all backspace so that terminates the graphical environment. It's like a control all delete for the for the GUI. So this would be quite useful to have control underscore alt underscore backspace close quote then oops end section and save that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit this and restart and see if the key no, is isn't affected the keyboard unfortunately so it could be that the keyboard layout's got to be a different code than UK as it is for the console um, let's try let's put some reverse video it's easier to read um, sudo vi etc x11 Xorg conf xkb defaults. I'll try one more. If this doesn't work, I won't stress too much about it. Uh, en underscore gb. Let's try that. I'll quit again. Restart it. No, it hasn't changed. Okay, so I'm obviously using the wrong code. Um, yeah, there's also some information about fine-tuning display settings, but as you can see, this has come up in HD. Um, I think if I type is it X, R, and R, yeah, it tells me currently I'm connected via the HDMI. It's actually a, deep, a display port is connected, but it's obviously seen it as an HDMI. Um, Yeah, it's a DVI connection, uh, not DVI, display port connection. So uh, maybe HDMI is just a generic term. And you can see it's on uh, an HD connection. So that's correct. That is what you're looking at is an HD screen. Um, and in fact, I presume that star or maybe the plus shows that that's the current mode. So that would be the refresh rate and the current resolution. And you can see VJ1 is disconnected. That's the other terminal. And looks like there's a virtual screen as well. So I don't know what that, that is. So that's all okay. So because I, I, I haven't got a browser, I can't install from here. Otherwise I would do. I, I think it would be um, quite a few packages to install to get a browser working. Um, arguably I could get the 
text browser, but it's a bit of a pain to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot back into the remote PC and continue the, all of the installation uh, remotely until I uh, get to a point where Myth TV is working because then it's all about working in Myth TV. Um, the desktop's not important after that, apart from displaying Myth TV. It's not something that we'll be sitting typing stuff at all the time. So, yeah, I'll carry on. I'll uh, pause the video again, switch back to the remote terminal and carry on the build from there. 